Welcome everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Bryce Marin. I work for the City of Iowa City. I work for Public Works and the Resource Management Department and my primary responsibility is working here at the East Side Recycling Center. And just so you know about the place a little bit, it's considered within the landfill fence line. One of the things we do outside of keeping things out of the landfill with all of our recycling out here is we also have a lot of plantings and rain gardens and bio cells to help keep uh, storm water out of the creek from washing in too fast. And with those plantings, we've decided to put in a bunch of milkweeds uh, to kind of promote a habitat for monarch butterflies. And it's worked out really well for the last few years. And all of this has kind of helped evolve into our involvement here at this, at this facility with the Monarch Festival that the city has put on for the last five years or so. And so today, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus a little bit on how we collect eggs for raising the caterpillars that eventually turn into the adult monarch butterflies. And so I hope you enjoy it. So if you are gonna go out and hunt for monarch eggs, you're gonna to have to be able to locate and identify milkweeds. And there's several different uh, varieties of milkweed. Uh, right in front of me here, we have, on the east side, we have two of the more predominant kinds of milkweeds that you'll see uh, out in nature areas. Uh, these tall guys here are the common milkweeds, which a lot of people are familiar with. And they have the big broad leaves and purple flowers. If you decide to plant milkweeds on your property, just realize that these tend to form large colonies through rhizomes through the ground. So they'll start popping up in areas where like you might not want them. Uh, so if you like a tidy garden, a good choice is the, uh, the butterfly milkweed, which is the orange flowered plant right in front of me here with the smaller, thinner leaves. And these grow much smaller as a rule and they kind of stay in place. And these would be a good choice if you like to keep a tidy garden. So these are two, uh, these two kinds of milkweeds are most of what we have out here on the property. Uh, we have a couple of examples of swamp milkweed out here, but for the most part, when you go out looking for eggs, you're gonna see stuff like this, the common milkweed and the butterfly. So you've identified your milkweeds and you're gonna go looking for monarch eggs. Just a couple things that you wanna keep in mind. Usually the monarch eggs are going to be located on the underside of a leaf, although occasionally you will find one on top of a leaf. It's good to know that they oftentimes will favor younger plants. If you see a plant that's older and dried out, there's a good chance that that monarch is going to pass over that plant and go to a different one to lay eggs. When you're looking for eggs, if you don't, you know, before you get the hang of things, uh, it's always good to have a magnifying glass to look and see, you know, whether it's an egg or not. Monarch eggs are distinctive. There's a lot of things that kind of look like monarch eggs, but aren't. I have two eggs here, and in appearance, they are oblong. Uh, it's kind of like a chicken egg, but they are not bright white. They're kind of a dirtyish, whitish uh, yellow, um, maybe with a little hint of green. Uh, the most distinctive thing about these eggs is that they have striations or lines, the length of the egg all the way down to the base all around it. And that's the most distinctive feature, I think, of a monarch. So if you see striations on the egg that go from the tip to the base, then you're looking at a monarch egg. Uh, typically, these eggs, uh, you don't find them on the edges of the plant. You usually find them uh, more towards the center, and that has to do with the mechanics of the, how the monarch kind of grabs the leaf as it lays the egg. Um, yeah, and in this case, we have two of them, so we're in business. So you've located some milkweeds and you found a monarch egg and so what do you do when you collect it? Um, and why do you collect it anyways? A good reason to collect monarch eggs is because for a monarch egg to go to adult, that only happens less than 5% of the time in nature because of all the insects and predators and stuff that get to them. So if you collect an egg, there's a really good chance that you can raise that successfully, that little egg to a caterpillar. Okay, so this is the leaf that I collected earlier. It has two eggs on it. And typically, like if I'm going around, I have my handy dandy City of Iowa City composter that I used to store all of my tools in here. And it's very simple. I don't have very much. I have a pair of scissors. I typically will take the, uh, the, the egg and just kind of cut it off. I cut this little piece here with the two eggs on it and I'm gonna set it in this ramekin. And the ramekin's got a lid. And make sure that you seal the top of this. Uh, make sure that the seal is on. And that way, the, when it 
when the caterpillar comes out, uh, they tend to move around a lot, so you don't want them to crawl out. Those caterpillars are very tiny too, so that's why we use these uh, little small ramekins. If you try to put these eggs in little caterpillars in larger containers, they can be hard to locate and then you can accidentally uh, have an accident with them or something. So it's good to have something really small, ramekin, a uh, little tiny guy like this, and then you just check your egg every day, once or twice a day, and you wait for the caterpillar to come out. There's a second method that we like to use out here for collecting eggs, and in the long run, this one will save you a lot of time and, and effort as far as uh, switching out leaves to feed your caterpillars after the egg hatches. So I still have my two eggs on my leaf in my hand here, and this is a little cage that I bought, um, and it's got a little zipper here, and then I did modify it. I cut a hole in the bottom and got some duct tape on there, and there's a couple, of, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a couple of, of uh, lawn staples here to keep it in place when I put it on, on the ground over a plant. And we have a milkweed plant right here. And so it's, it's a pretty easy process. Once you find a plant that's the right size for your, um, these come in different sizes, but once you have a plant that will uh, fit inside here, you basically just have to put this right over that plant. And then I unzip the little closure here. I have those lawn staples to help fasten it to the ground. And then, um, I won't do it here now, but I usually fill dirt or sand across the bottom so that they can't get out through that hole. And I'm gonna take my leaf here with my two eggs, and I have a thumbtack. And you take the thumbtack and put it through the leaf, and then you thumbtack that leaf onto the plant carefully. And there you have it. Close it up, and you can leave that there, and those two eggs will probably make it to adulthood and you don't even have to do anything else. It's probably enough food there for them to make it all the way. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the, of the Virtual Monarch Festival that we're doing this year. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, that you found it useful and we're going to see you next week. We're going to talk about how to take care of your caterpillars once they come out of that egg. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.